Hey guys, this is June from Delish, and this is everything that I eat in a day. Kind of. Ooh, the first thing that I do when I wake up to lovely construction noises outside is look at my phone. It's not something that I'm proud of. Certainly would love to change it, but Instagram. Instagram is the first thing that I do when I wake up. I don't really eat first thing in the morning. I feel like when I wake up, I drink some water. I might drink some tea that I brewed the night before. I only drink coffee when I want to speed off of a cliff and crash and burn. So for the most part, I'm a tea person. I really love green teas. I love genmai cha and I love jasmine tea. Coffee, when I do drink it, I love it with lots of milk no sugar. Teas, I brew them incorrectly according to a lady in a very fancy tea shop in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I just put lots of boiling water with lots of tea and just let it steep until it's nice and bitter. Love is strong. I work with food. When it comes to breakfast, it's like the lottery. It's just what I feel like on that day. Say magically, there's no food that's already made in my fridge. I would love to have some nice thick oatmeal cooked with Baileys. So I don't really drink, but I love to put a nice splash of Baileys in my oatmeal. Just gives it that nice creamy sweetness, a little punch of alcohol that you barely detect. Just gets you started, you know? So most of the days now at home, I'm shooting videos on my own. The first thing that I do is set up my camera, check if I have some really nasty bits in my eyeballs. If I don't, good to go, let's roll. So if you haven't seen my videos yet, please go over to the Delish YouTube channel because you can see me cook random things, you can see me fail at cooking things, and you can also see me succeed at cooking things. So if you like a nice mix, sadness, madness, and hunger, I'm your girl. My favorite recipe that I've ever developed for Delish. There's a lot, but I would have to say I really was very proud of my homemade ramen recipe. There's a lot of steps in there, but it all comes together in one bowl and it's like with that egg that's nicely soft, with a yolk that's half set, half runny, a little bit marinated, and then that pork belly, creamy, rich, and then that broth, light, salty, and then spicy chili oil. You just need to make all of it, put it together in one bowl and just like let it become part of you. Dinner. Favorite budget eats challenge. It's gonna be the next one that's hitting your computer screen. I do a vegan gluten-free 10 meals for two people for under $25. It's been a hard year for everyone, I think, and routine has been kind of just thrown out the window. But if I do eat lunch, it's usually, again, leftovers or like that week that I made corn cookies and tested it at home and had no one else to feed it to, I just ate corn cookies for six days in a row. If I'm taking care of myself on a certain day for lunch, I'll probably make something involving beans. I love lentils, I love chickpeas, anything with beans. I can roast my chickpeas, I can blend my chickpeas into hummus, I can just eat them raw. Chickpeas, all day, all night, all my life. Snacks are my life. In the before time, my number one go-to snack was Trader Joe's Cheese Crunchies. They're like Cheetos, but softer, and they're baked, not fried, so they have a slightly more gentle flavor profile. I love their like fake cheddar cheesiness. That It's just very soothing and calming. I love sun chips. I love garden salsa sun chips, and if you've ever had Takis, you need to get the guacamole flavor Takis and put them together with the garden salsa sun chips because then you have guac and salsa and the chip in one bite. You're welcome. Dinner for me usually now is more of the same of what I cooked for lunch, aka what I developed for Delish on that day, but also right now it's fall and fall means apple season, so I've just been eating apples for dinner. I will go to a farmer's market and I will pick out all the weird sounding apples that I've never tried before and it's like Christmas every day. I just pick random apples, eat them, taste them, Instagram about them. If they're fresh apples and they're from local farmer's markets and you know they're crispy, crunchy, and they have distinct flavor profiles, I just like to eat those apples raw and really get a taste of what they are. It's kind of like tasting wine, but you don't get drunk, which is kind of nice because I'm way too old to get drunk now. But if you are looking to do stuff with those apples, 
Besides baking them into pies and cobblers and stuff, throw them into a stir fry and make like a sweet and sour pork thing because apples go really well with pork. Try weird things. You're only here for a short amount of time. Why not just go crazy? And then I'll probably also eat a lot of peanut butter because peanut butter is the love of my life. Chickpeas are second, but peanut butter is first. So peanut butter, apples, sometimes I'll throw in a banana in there, and sometimes I'll just go crazy eating snacks. I don't really drink. I get what is known as the Asian flush and I get it really bad. You give me four sips of beer, that's it. I throw in the towel. So as far as alcohol goes, Bailey's in my oatmeal, a little rum brushed on top of my cake, and that's about it. Am I a late night snacker? I would say yes. I'm an all time snacker. Late night, anxiety time, stress time, depression time, those are all good snacking times. If anyone ever says they don't like this particular food, I just think that they haven't had a good version of it. But I would say one food that I can't get behind is licorice. Doesn't look great, doesn't taste great. Not for me. And also bitter melon. My mom used to force feed me bitter melon. I'm an adult. I'm not gonna have that in my life anymore. Thanks, mom. Favorite food city? Ooh, that's such a good question. Last year, my partner and I took a trip to Chengdu, China, and that was an amazing food city. All the food there is super affordable. There's like sweet water noodles. They're thick, chunky boys covered in a sauce that's like... That's a really loud plane, sorry. And they also have the most amazing green mung bean cakes that I've ever had. It's a kind of dessert. It's like patted into a little solid cube of goodness. I don't know how to describe it. You're just gonna have to go to Chengdu and eat it. Go, right now. Ooh, my favorite meal to cook of all time, I think, according to my partner, it's jail slop. A little bit of onions and garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and then I throw a bunch of lentils in there and then dump a bunch of broth or water in there and just let it cook until it's all mush. It literally looks like mud, but that's what I like to eat. I like baby food textures. And that's everything that I eat in a day. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our YouTube channel to see me cook, and be sure to check out our cocktail cookbook if you like your drinks.